Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you how to install Linux Mint 11 32-bit um, Katya in VMware Player. So you first click create a new virtual machine, go find the ISO, I downloaded it from a torrent because it's faster that way. So next, okay we specify as Ubuntu since it's based off Ubuntu. You name it Linux Mint 11. Let's go for a 25 gig hard drive just to be safe. Now we'll go to customize hardware, give it a gigabyte of RAM, and click finish. Now we just sit back and wait for the installation process to work. Don't show that hint again, click OK. Remind me later. This is Linux Mint 11. I've never tried it before, and I thought, hey, I, uh, let's try a VMware Player, right? Because I like VMware Player better than VirtualBox. I have both installed, but I'm actually transitioning from VirtualBox to VMware Player completely, 3.1.4. Since VMware Player has better 3D support than VirtualBox, it puts out harder virtualization. So anyhow, should be working. As you can see, the CD indicator is going, and so is the hard drive indicator. I've installed Linux Mint before, I've tried. What's up? Maybe it'll work now. Move that for Chrome when I install OS because Chrome runs faster. So what you do is you check the box where it says erase disk and install Linux Mint, but it's a clean virtual hard drive, so it's not issue. This part shouldn't take too long. Let's go forward. It's a 25 gig hard drive, but it takes 26.8, but that's good enough. Install now. Let's go format the ext4 file system. This is actually better in my opinion than uh Matt. I would say it's just as good as Mac OS Donalds. In fact, this is beta built off Unix Linux, but yeah. So anyhow, without further ado, let's just let it install. Ah, right, here we go. So yeah, this is how you generally install Linux Mint. It's actually quicker to install Windows and Linux in VMware Player. I've done this how I know. And see, now it's going quicker. Yeah, we'll, we'll just a time later. So you just like to do this thing. Yeah, it's 241. That's correct. Go forward. That should fix it now. As you can see, it says 941, which is wrong. It's really 241. That's an issue with some Linux distros. So I'm using it as a, in a virtual machine instead of the physical machine.
the forward. It's a lot faster than Cyber One Card DVD and stuff. Oh, and it even has Thunderbird Pigeon Next Chat. I use Thunderbird. I have it on Windows 7. We break off as I did before. I try to switch to open on that thing. But we break do. Yeah, that's it. That's what's better about LibreOffice. It's 100% compatible with uh, Microsoft Office. Unlike Open, it's 99. It even supports Skype, Audacity. I like those programs. I've used Picasa and Google Earth, and I've heard of files of those, so that's some cool stuff. Wine and VirtualBox obviously are compatible. What else? <laughs> Thank you to System Update. I help. Yeah, sorry about the lag. It's not my computer, I know that. My computer is a dual core, 4 gigs of DDR2, and it has hardware virtualization, so it should be going faster than this. Anyhow, with Linux Mint, it's a pretty nice operating system, and I love this new logo they made for Linux Mint. Really nice. And that wallpaper you were wondering on my desktop, if you were wondering, I made that. It's a custom made. I made it in GIMP. GIMP 2.6.11. And to run GIMP successfully in Windows 7, run it in compatibility mode well, for the installation for Windows XP Service Pack 3, it'll make it run a lot smoother. I discovered that while experimenting. It makes it start up in seconds again, before GIMP would lag on Windows 7. And I knew it wasn't Windows 7 on my computer, so I did that. And CompuJ001 also noticed that when I told him about it, that GIMP is out faster. When you do that, I never knew that before, noticed that before, but I recently just did. Anyhow. I'm going to pause it, and when it's done installing, I'll resume it. The installation is almost complete. There was an error, unfortunately. But it should be quicker when it's done, so... Yeah, I use Hulu Desktop. I'm going Hulu. Hulu Desktop. Right there. Since you can watch Family Guy on TV and you're not to worry about those control breaks, I should use it. Well, VGA can't do that, but yeah, I need to get another one because I'm using that for a different computer, so. I need a new VGA. It shouldn't be too hard to get a hold. Alright, the installation is almost complete. As you can see, it's getting further and further along. It's not as fast because it's in the emulated state. Should be in a matter of seconds.
All right, we're almost there. Did I three threads? Okay, at least the threads are successful. As you can see, it's almost at the end by na right now. I like to see more players. It's really good for operating systems like XP and stuff. Uh, one thing I would love to try I've never tried before is running Windows 2000 via more player. I have it in VirtualBox. I'm going to try it out. See how it runs. If it runs better, I'm going to get rid of VirtualBox completely. And plus, with VMware Player, you can compress the hard drive so you can save space on your actual hard drive, which I like. Since I have a 160 on this computer, my ECS has a 250, though. Alright, we're finishing the copying of the files. And it's now configuring the system locales. Um, I think we need that. Oh, but we can't skip it. Need that. Obviously, the, the skip is paid off, so we can't do it. Yep, yeah, by the time it was it successful, just configuring at the hardware, it'll be quicker as soon as it's done. And with Windows 2000 and Windows XP and uh, VMware Player, I will make videos of that too. And I'm also going to try Kubuntu 11.04. I'm going to try even Puppy Linux. And I want to try Red Hat Linux as well. I'm only going for 32-bit for virtual machines. My host is a 64-bit. I have 7 Pro Service Pack 164-bit. So it's really quick, but I have 4 gigs of RAM. If I have less than 4 gigs of RAM, I go 32 generally. If I have 4 gigs or more, I, I go 64-bit generally. It just depends. So let's just wait. And I wouldn't recommend running VMware Player unless if you have, I would say, a minimum of, hmm, I would say if you don't have hardware virtualization and you don't have at least enough RAM, like, like, I would say go 3 or 4 gigs if you're going to go with VMware Player, not 2, because if you're going to use 1, it's going to use 50% of your resources, and it's going to make your computer run really, really slow. Alright. That's installing the language packs. I really don't want these, because I only use English and Spanish. I just want certain ones. And for Ubuntu, it says Ubuntu Ubiquity, not Amit Ubiquity. And I'm also going to install Ubuntu 11.04 and VMware Party. There'll be a video of that. I'm going to go for 32 bit, obviously. And for both of these, I will upload the ISOs to the Mega Upload if you want. But I, I'm probably not going to do it because you can just download it off the website. And it's not going to be any faster off my head, I don't think.